Why, hello there, little Timothy. It doubts to appear we have entered the world of Evil Genius 2 again. Let's be honest with ourselves here. There is no better person in the world to take over the world than me. Uh, which is why the amazing developers of Evil Genius 2 have sponsored my world takeover today. And you can go ahead and get yourself the new DLC, which will be available right now in the link down below. Hey, not just that. If you want to take over the world just like I'm going to do in this video today, you can also go ahead and get the game on your PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, and it's available on the Xbox game pass and like i said with the brand new dlc coming out today you're gonna have a lot to do we're gonna take over the world recruit some henchmen to do our evil bidding and most importantly become an evil genius so you can go ahead and get started with evil genius today by clicking the link down below but you guys want to see me get into this and conquer the world i know you do so that's what we're doing all right so we have a brand new villain um, and we have a brand new campaign to go through. And, uh, I know what you're thinking. No, it's not Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, someone much colder than the Iron Lady herself. It's quite literally polar colder than ice. All right, so if you remember last time we played, I was Red Ivan. Red Ivan got a lot done, but realistically, he did just go around slapping people. And we, we need to do better than that this time around. And, of course, we have our brand new island we can move to, which is right up here in the North Pole, where we're going to go ahead and take over the world in our little icicle. All right then before we do anything we need to set up our base of operations uh, i guess first things first we probably should talk to um some sort of heating company because i get the feeling that this place is gonna require quite a bit and drain all of my money uh, here we go. we're gonna fund our evil taking over of the world we're also immediately going to need a place to store all of our goodies and by goodies i mean gold uh... I guess next up, we're probably going to need a generator to keep things running around here. And also probably, like I said, to power most <laughs> of the heating around here. I don't want to uh, break the bank. I only just uh, put a few of these <laughs> gold pallets down. Okay, we probably, probably don't want to get too ahead of ourselves with the generators here. Uh, yes, I guess um, if you also wanted a little egg chair, we could put the little egg chair in here for some reason. If you're... Feeling like sitting down as soon as you do your work. Yeah, I completely forgot we also have our little casino over here later that we can open up to, um, you know, be a legitimate business of totally not taking over the world in the back room. Alright, we also want to go ahead and put the barracks down. Probably not near here because we're probably going to have to expand this at some point. That's right, I'm being logical and thinking ahead. When have I ever done that before? Uh, well, you've also probably never played like one of these little games then before because uh, <laughs> it does get kind of tough building space later on. All right, get to work, minions. Uh, in fact, where is my little ice queen? We need to go ahead and uh, keep these guys motivated. Oh, uh, I'm not too sure if you uh, want to go too too near me there. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, you should have done your job. Alright, power restored and we are looking good. I wouldn't get too close to that though, little minions. <laughs> we definitely don't have health insurance. Is it in fact an evil genius lair? Or is this just America? Come on, mate. Just, uh, <laughs> gonna, gonna make a few quick buckaroonies. May have overspent a little bit. So, uh, get the control room running so we can, uh, actually make some money here. Is it technically pillaging and looting if you already own it? Yay! Okay, okay. So, we've got our radio up now. We can start influencing the world. And from this, we will slowly start to... Do a few evil deeds where we can. You come back with failure, you best not come back. Wait, while we wait for our little scouts to go out, we are uh, gonna go ahead and uh, set up the mess hall too, because unfortunately, <coughs> I mean, um, uh, we fortunately have so many hungry minions to feed. God! Why don't you bring your own damn food? We've landed in West Africa, where we've set up our criminal network to steal one man's life. Uh, not kill him. Uh, we just need to kidnap him and make him work for us. You got, you got your little, your mess hall now. You can eat. 
Don't complain to me about your hungry stomachs. Also, I've got the only space heater in the entire base so far, so you best huddle around. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I just saw that we had a wave of investigators turn up, and I can promise you guys that I'm not doing anything illegal, wherever you may be. Um, I mean, I mean technically, I haven't done anything illegal, or at least not a lot of it. I just, uh,. I kidnapped a guy from West Africa, okay? I'm also, I'm just kind of standing in the elevator while I build the prison, which uh, I need money for, so I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm having to wait until my money comes in. Uh, okay, now you guys, um, aren't as inconspicuous as you may think. Uh, yeah. You, uh, you probably, probably should have wore a different fedora. Uh, coming in with the matching outfits definitely gave you away. Yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're gonna need some muscle, although we did just, <laughs> we did just beat them all up, so <laughs> that's something. Okay, I think we just got another wave of investigators turning up. Um, probably, <laughs> probably should hurry up and get that technician in his cell before they tell him. Oh, no, I know this might be a little bit confusing how oh, you sure, ended up from West Africa please. to, um, well, the, the frozen desolate wasteland that is this island, but, um, that's not good enough. You need to tell me everything about your technical know-how. <laughs> Guys, they're just there like, a bit of technician, please. What is technician? Tell me all about your article, your feet. Oh, he, uh, he didn't last long with that feet tickling, did he? Uh, oh, here we go. More of you fedora wearers, eh? Well, don't worry, I'll take care of you. Okay. This time around, though, we are going to try and capture one of you, though, and see what information you got for me. From the information we garnered willfully from a man we definitely did not kidnap, we are now training the best of the best technical know-how the world has to maybe offer. We're gonna we're gonna need a lot more more brains and power around here if we're gonna try to take over the world because I don't I don't think Gary over here is gonna cut it when he's smacking that microwave with a screwdriver. With the technician storyline completed, we can now move on to I think a mass muscle will be good first before we do cover operation. Uh, because we do have a few people turning up that we don't want around. For us to do this, uh, we're gonna go ahead <laughs> and have to steal a guard from somewhere so we can learn how to God, you cannot say that I am not a generous overlord, all right? I gave you two little uh, game things there, and I've given you two lava lamps. I mean, what else could you want? What, what a better and relaxing area this will be. Look, we've even got a statue to somebody that I have probably made disappear. So hopefully that motivates you not to get on my bad side. Uh, the, the bad thing here, my friend, is that uh, if you knew what happened in the interrogation to the last guy, uh, well, you would be willingly walking this way. <laughs> I mean, the man, the man behind you has no weapons. So like, you could, you could easily take him with those muscles. Time for us to get Tarantino himself to come tickle your feet. You won't be smiling then, my friend. Uh, I gotta say, the base is already taking shape. Might be a little bit messy here and there, but once we get things running, I think it's gonna look great. <laughs> See, oh, there it goes. Get the feet. He's getting his feet. Get his feet. Has given us their secrets. Yeah, uh, that's a secret, okay? You always go for the feet. <laughs> Just sucked him up into whatever the hell that thing is. And excellent! Now we can build our guard trainer and get ourselves some muscle to protect us from those pesky spies that keep coming round. Although, I don't know what they're looking for, considering all we seem to do here is tickle people's feet. That's right, boys. We're going to turn you from weak little Timmies into... Big strong chats. Right, just a couple minutes beating up a boxing machine, and you, my friend, have transformed into a new man. Look at those muscles. Go out there and protect us from people who want to take down our feet tickling at bar. Okay, so now we just have to defeat some investigators in the lair, so I assume we're gonna have to wait for some to turn up, and I have defeated them easily before with men and hard hats, so I think these guys might just snap them in half. Well, 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 looks like trouble has arrived. Oh, well, <laughs> they're, uh, they're beating them up before the muscle can even get over there, but look, this guy's just getting ganked by... <laughs> Oh, there you go. Um, 
Never mess with men and women in hard hats, eh? Okay, okay. So we went from, you know, kidnapping technicians, uh, kidnapping guards, and now we've just kidnapped a valet to, um, assumingly teach us manners, perhaps? It's kind of interesting how we already have guests arriving for our covert operation, which is going to be the casino, I imagine, um, when there's nothing to do here yet. You're sort of just hanging around in a lobby just to sit down. But I guess it's impressive considering you're on a big ice rock. Now it's time for our real evil plot to take over. And that is gambling. Uh, looks like we, uh, yeah, we got a few investigators rummaging around. Okay, why don't you guys just mind your business? If not, I'm going to have to teach you how to do it. Now we're actually, now we're actually getting some people that we should be kidnapping, which is scientists. Okay, they know the secrets to everything like the optimal tickling strategy for feet <laughs> five years at harvard for this the true crime of it all eh capitalism uh, we have moved on down to south america now where we are currently trying to recruit a henchman and by a henchman i mean a computer. I, I get the feeling things are getting a little skynetty around here. And uh, I guess if we want to take over the world, why not with an evil robot? This this is how we're going to take over the world. <laughs> Dancing and music. Um, I don't I don't think it's safe to be eating your food there. We should get that looked at. Um. <laughs> Although I am impressed on just how resilient those suits are. So impressed, I think we need to cut the budget on those things. That's a lot of wasted money right there. Minions are much cheaper. Uh, well, here comes Skynet. Uh, I see we put the computer <laughs> in a robot body. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just gets weirder and weirder who we're bringing in now. Because now I've just kidnapped a socialite. To our base, uh, to your left, you will see our killer robot. Don't look her in the eye, she will murder you. And right here, you shall see your cell. And uh, you'll also be the last thing you see, because now I'm going to pull you out of it and tickle your feet to death. We're kind of weird here, I gotta say. It's all in the name of global domination, baby. And mostly the feet thing. We are... Very into that here. Oh, we haven't had a lot to do recently. Haven't generated a lot of heat around here. We've just been stealing minor celebrities. Um, so a lot of the crew are just sure to hang around. But it looks like we finally got some new investigators to beat up and interrogate. Oh, uh, I think the brass may have turned up. Hold on a second. <laughs> they seem a bit better equipped, but I do have... Oh my god, Skynet has activated. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I took care of that. Oh, well. Uh, Oh, managed to actually capture one of them alive. We'll see what your feet have to. Uh, we'll see what you have to say. Is what I was gonna feed you. Uh, feet, feet. Um, all, all I'm saying is some t places in the world you have to pay for this type of service. You may have come here to take down an evil organization, but you you just got distracted by this mediocre singing. Okay, I like where this is going. Submarines, eh? Nice, nice. Now, with our brand new spanking submarine, we can go ahead and start scouting ocean regions. Well, after setting up our new submarine of operations down here, we I, uh, I think we're ready to call it for today. Though, not only dominating continents now, we've got uh, South America, we've got America, we've got all of North Africa and West Africa. We're now dominating the seas in uh, <laughs> the father base, we'll call it. But there's plenty more to conquer out there and plenty more trouble to cause. If you enjoyed what you saw today on Evil Genius 2, you can go ahead and get started by clicking my link down below and getting the new DLC or get the original DLCs that you want to play and the game. It's available on console, like I said, and it's out right now. So you can go play. And I know a lot of people do enjoy these type of... Uh, uh, build up games. I enjoy them too. Uh, I think I think I have like 16 hours on my other save now. It's a bit ridiculous. But yes, thank you very much Evil Genius for sponsoring this video. And uh, again, if you guys want to see more of this, I know you liked the last video. So I'm assuming you'll like this one too. My antics as a evil genius. Uh, feel free to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button down below and check out the link in the description. But uh, thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you in the next episode potentially.